Hello, this is David Ward, and uh, as I've been working on this character you see here, this is kind of a CGI version of myself, uh, originally started off to be more more realistic with the less cartoony proportions, but the further I went with it, uh, I decided uh, it would be more fun and he'd have a lot more personality probably if I tried to go cartoon style instead of trying to defeat the uncanny valley of uh, realism. So, um... That's why I did the cartoony proportions. In any case, um, a few of the uh, the viewers on my uh, my Facebook artist page, it's Ward7299Art, facebook.com, Ward7299Art, um, requested that I do, do some tutorials on how to create this type of character. So, uh, it's very similar to the Johnny Blender 2, uh, as far as doing the head and the hair and everything, but uh, some of the tools have changed in Blender since then. That's been... Uh, four or five years ago now. So um, why not just go ahead and start a new one. So I'm um, going to go to Image After, uh, imageafter.com. This is a site that you can get free um, re reference images and resources uh, for different modeling and, and everything's free. Absolutely free. You can do whatever you want with it. You can take a look at the terms of use if you want. And uh, basically you can modify any way you see fit. You can use them for your personal or commercial use, you can redistribute or sell them, altered or unaltered as part of printed work. So you can use them for pretty much whatever the heck you want. So um, I came here now uh, to, to find some images I could use here in this tutorial and not have to worry about copyright and things like that. Now there's uh, 3DSDK, I believe is the name of the website. They have a lot more references if you want to use something different, but you have to have a, a membership for that. But uh, in any case, um, I was able to find a few, uh, or actually one guy that had the, the, the front view and the, the profile view and everything we need to create a head. So, let's go ahead and jump in and grab those. It's going to be under images and then nature underscore characters underscore humanoids. And I was looking at this the other day and it looks like they... Uh, redid their site a little bit. The thumbnail is a little, little smaller than they used to be and there's a lot more on a page and a, a few more images than they had before. So I was looking at this last night and I think my guy was way over on page seven. So let's skip over to there. And yes, there he is. So let's just uh, open up all these in a new tab. And they're turned sideways, so we'll definitely have to go into Photoshop or GIMP if you don't have Photoshop and rotate them the way you need to the way they need to be. Now, I don't know if I'll actually end up using this uh, particular image, but it would be handy for getting the, the general shape of the top of the head. Um, I'll use, you know, I probably will use that actually for texturing at least, but as far as modeling, maybe not. This one, maybe not. Um, this one, maybe not. But uh, this one, for sure, I always model the left side of the head, the character's left side of the screen right side, but uh, uh, this one is the main one we want, and um, um, it would be better for modeling purposes if he didn't have a smile, if it was just kind of a blank expression, but uh, this will still work. This will give us the, the general shape uh, of his face, and this will give us the profile. So the reason I want to use this one rather than this one is because this one, he's not smiling, and this one, he's got that same little smirk smile there. So... Um, Let's go ahead and save this image as, and let's just go to my G drive here, Blender files, and we'll just create a new folder here. New folder, there we go. And I'm gonna call this guy, um, let's call him, I don't know, he's gonna be friends with my CGI self, so let's just, I don't know, I'll just call him Mickey. So he'll be Mickey. Maybe I'll give him uh, since he's the model, the bald part is is good because it'll help us model his actual head. Then we can go in and add extra hair or something if we want to. Um, so uh, we'll call this one. Uh, actually, just create another folder in here. Call this one reference. Okay, and I'm gonna name this one uh, front. Okay, then we'll jump over to this one and save this one and name this one profile. Dot L. Actually, profile L. Dot JPEG. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and save these other ones just so we have them there when we go to start texturing. And we'll save this one back, JPEG, and this one will be 
profile R, profile right, JPEG, okay. And finally, we'll go ahead and get this one. And then top. I'm, I'm used to naming things in Blender, putting top, dot L, dot R, you know, whatever. <laughs> so that's why I kept messing up there. So anyways, okay, so that's basically all we need uh, to model ahead. So let's go ahead and jump into Blender. There we go, and I'm using 2.73a. Uh, this was just released uh, a few weeks ago. Tell you what, let's jump in and see if Blender has any new versions, just to be safe. So we'll just go to blender.org, and 2.73a is the latest version as of right now, which is February 17th. Hopefully I'll get these tutorials out in a uh, quick amount of time, so this isn't obsolete by then. So anyways, 2.73a. Now, to uh, get our images where we want them, um, let me go ahead and turn on my screencast keys. Hopefully that's still set up. May not be, I might have to go in and, um, oops, it's actually gonna be under add-ons. Screencast, nope. I need to go ahead and copy the Python file to this folder. So I'll pause recording and I'll be right back. I just realized uh, while I'm doing this, I could actually show you guys how to do it as well. Uh, if you have a an add-on from an earlier version of Blender that you want to put into the newer version, it's pretty easy. You just have to go, if as long as you're on PC, I'm on Windows 7, 64-bit, um, but um, it's going to be under Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender, and you can see all the different versions that I've had on this particular computer. So we're on 2.73 right now, so I'm gonna jump up to 2.72, and we'll go to Scripts, Add-ons, and we'll scroll down here all the way to the bottom. You can see Space, View 3D, and Spacebar, let's see. Maybe it was in uh, 2.70, let's do that. Add-ons, scroll down. Yes, there we are. Space underscore view 3D underscore screencast underscore keys. So we're gonna copy that. Copy, there we go. Bump, jump back up to 2.73, scripts, add-ons, and we'll come down here and we'll go ahead and paste. So now we have that in here. So now, hopefully, we go to user preferences, add-ons, screen, ah, screen. Okay, so we're gonna have to load it. So we'll install from file and do the same thing. It's gonna be under C drive. Let's go ahead and delete all this or I could have clicked over here. Uh, program files, Blender, 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 Foundation, there we go, Blender, 2.73, scripts, add-ons, and space to do, there we go, screencast keys. Install from file, source file is there. I guess basically I just need to go, uh, Let's just say new. File new. Okay, reload. Now we go to user preferences, add ons, screencast keys. There we go. Okay, so now if I come over here in my properties, screencast keys, screencast keys start display. There we go. You can now see what I'm doing over here. Okay, so that's middle mouse wheel. Scroll up, scroll down, blah, 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 blah. Alrighty. So I'm going to set my cursor to the center. There we go. And uh, we're going to bring in those uh, images. Uh, I guess we need to take them into Photoshop first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open Photoshop. And we will go to our Mickey folder. Over here, I'm in my second window. Here, under Files, and Mickey. And I don't know if I need an E in there, in Mickey. That's the way he spells it. He spells it M-I-C-K-Y, not E-Y. He's not a mouse. So... Anyways, okay, so we'll grab all these, drag them into Photoshop or GIMP, whichever you're using, and we want to image, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and we'll go ahead and save that. Okay, maximum size. Now, if you're saving this for web, for the internet or something like that, like a background texture for your website, you want to go file, save for web and devices, and it'll save an optimized version. But since we're, we're wanting the high-res version of this, we're just going to save it. So image, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Save that, okay. Same thing on all of these. Rotate, save. Control S saves, there we go. And finally, there we go. 
Okay, so back to Blender. Um, now we can do, um, in, in different 3D softwares, you have to actually add in a, an image plane that you would add an image plane for the left, uh, the, you know, for each view that you have reference image for, you would add an image plane for that. But you don't have to do that in Blender. You can do that with background images right here. So let's make that window a little bigger, expand that. We're gonna add an image and we're gonna open and let's go to our, uh, let's go to Dave here. That's my Dave folder for Blender files. We'll go up and navigate to Mickey. And let's go ahead and add a bookmark for Mickey. There we go. Reference, and we're gonna say front. Open that, okay? And you can't see it right now because we're in the perspective view. So if you set, hit the one button, we'll go to front view. And you can see uh, that image is there. And it's pretty well lined up. So let, if we hit the Z button, We'll go into wireframe view so the cube is a little uh, more transparent. And we can see, let's line him up a little bit better to where the blue line here, that's the center of the scene, until that's lined up in the middle of his nose. So I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller. Let's make him down to one. Because, uh, I mean, even that's gonna be a little big, but uh, the, the base cube is basically, or each one of these grid squares is one meter. One blender unit is roughly one meter, real world size. So this cube here is roughly two meters by two meters. So even this is a little big for his head because it, that makes it, you know, he's, he's got a three, three, 39 inch head, you know, one, one meter size head, which is very big. <laughs> so if we actually wanted to make it actual size, we'd dumb this even down. So probably maybe about right there, 0. 0.6. We'd actually actually have to take measurements or something, but I'm just gonna leave it at 0.1. It's all relative anyways. Um, but I would like to bring his chin up to above the line, so I'm going to say on the y-axis, let's raise that up about like so. And 0.4 is a little too low, let's go 0.45, there we go. And then we'll come in here and bump it over to where that blue line is right there in the middle, so we'll say 0.1 on the x-axis, that's way too much, 0.05, still too much. 0.025, a uh, little too much. If we hold on shift, we can click and drag across this and it'll be a little better than just clicking and dragging because it's way big, big, big. So if we hold on shift, we can go in smaller increments. So there we go, 0 0.015 is about right. That's right down the middle. So, okay, good to go. So got us front viewing. Now we just need the other sides. So this one, we want the front to say only on the front. There we go. And we'll go ahead and collapse this one. Going to go ahead and add another image. Open that and go back to the Mickey folder, reference, and this will be profile L. Open that. And you can see uh, it's kind of superimposed over this front one um, because we're still in the front view, but that's fine. That'll give us the option to uh, scale it down and get it lined up and then we can apply it to the left view instead of the front view. So let's get him bumped back up. What was the 0.45 on the Y? 0.45, hopefully that'll line up about the same. It all depends on if the image itself is actually lined up. So it looks like it's fairly close. Let's bump that back to where we can actually see where his lips would go. So we need to actually go up a little higher. Um, tiny bit higher, so we'll say point, let's try point 0.5, that's a uh, little too much, maybe point 0.475, that looks about right. Okay, so that'll, that'll work there, let's go ahead and um, move him back forward to where he's kind of centered up there. Okay, so now we'll say only on the left view. Actually, I believe that'll need to be on the right view. It's gonna be on the left side of the actual model, but it'll be on the right side of the stage of the scene. So if we go to the three button, that's the, the right view. So we need to say the right side. So there we go. Okay, so now we basically have what we need to start modeling. We, if we want to go ahead and add in the top, we can do that, but uh, I, can, I can usually typically work uh, from the front and side pretty pretty well. So, um, tell you what, um, we've got all this set up. Let's go in here just a bit. I don't want to actually start modeling because we're already run 15 minutes into part one, and you know me, I like to keep mine uh, 
roughly 20 minutes or less uh, for each episode. So let's move this up here and just kind of get it situated. Actually, let's do it in edit mode. Move it up there. I want to keep the, the orange dot, the 3D origin. I want to keep that right there at the base. So we'll just set that up there. And that's going to be it for part one. Let's go ahead and save this in our Mickey folder. And we'll say Mickey01. Okay, save that. And uh, there we go. So that's how you get uh, some reference images for free. Like I said, the 3D SDK, let me uh, just navigate to that site real quick so you can take a peek at what that looks like. 3D SDK.com. Uh, maybe that's not the right one. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, it was from the Blending Life contest that I actually, from a few years ago, uh, where I actually got the 3D SDK. 3D.SK, not 3D SDK. So, 3D.SK. And there you go. You, if you want to sign up for, I think you can just do for a one month um, if you wanted to, and pretty much get all the references you want, but uh, careful, there is some nudity on here. Uh, so, you don't want to do this at work. Uh, if you accidentally click one of those by accident, you might get in trouble. So, um, but yeah, you can do pretty much. You know, really high resolution, professional quality uh, reference textures and images and everything like that. So you can model from. And, and they also have pre made head textures that you can just, if you get one laid out into the same dimensions there, you can just use that. So, in any case, uh, that's another one you can use. But like I said, it's not free. Once you purchase the images, you can use them for whatever you want, so far as I understand. But uh, you actually have to have a membership to get them. So, in any case, you can use this from uh, Image After, or you can go to 3D.sk. So that's going to be it for part one. In part two, we'll actually get in and start modeling this guy. So we'll catch you in part two.